Lauren Bukas, I'm a writer and I'm from Cape Town, South Africa. I write imaginative fiction. I write fiction with a crazy twist. And that might be criminals with magical animals as a way of looking at crime and redemption. Or it might be a time-traveling serial killer as a way of exploring the 20th century and how that shaped us. And also how we talk about violence against women. So I find that using these crazy ideas allows us to get at the truth in a very interesting way because you're looking at it through a distorting lens which makes it fresh and new. I've wanted to be a writer since I was five years old, but it's taken a long time to get there. I did my master's in creative writing, but I was a journalist for a long time in between and that gave me a backstage pass to the world. And it was so inspiring to be able to talk to interesting people from all walks of life, to be able to spend sometimes weeks at a time in the townships and often just walking around talking to people and like just really getting a sense for all facets of this country. It was a huge privilege and it really informed my writing. I get inspiration everywhere around, and I store it up all in my brain like a squirrel or a pack rat. And sometimes those things come together in really interesting ways, some kind of warped chemistry. The Shining Girls has been optioned by Leonardo DiCaprio's company, Appian Way, and MRC, who made House of Cards, which is a very exciting model because they attach very strong talent. They attach a director and a star, and then go and get the funding, which is absolutely the right way to make TV. And also, they, they took it straight to Netflix. And that's so inspiring. I'm like, yes, you understand the future of television. You understand what people's viewing habits are like. He gave it to me when I was a little girl. You shine. I need you. He said it was to remember him by. He didn't mean me, obviously. The dead don't remember anything. Shh. It's all right. The house wants more. It wants to claim the fire in their eyes and snuff it out. Girls get murdered all the time. It could be a father and son team. He might be 90 years old now. He might be dead. I'll find her. Keep my promise. It's a long, slow process. Um, you know, I've, I've literally just signed my contract, even though it's been a year. It's, it takes that long to negotiate. I've just finished a novel called Broken Monsters. It's coming out in July. It's set in Detroit, and in a way that's me writing about Hillbrow and the inner city of Johannesburg again. Because from the outside, Detroit looks like a blighted place. It looks like boarded up windows and poverty and crime and desperation. But actually, it's somewhere people live, and there's an incredible art scene there. It's a detective story. There's some very weird bodies turning up in Detroit. And the first one is of a young boy who's been somehow attached to a deer. And um, it's the story of the, these characters around these murders and how it affects them and, and the kind of broken monsters within, I guess, and how you deal with your own brokenness and how you, how you deal with that in the world. How do you forgive your dark past as a country? And how do you do it as an individual? How do you get over something terrible that you've done? And I really wanted to kind of humanize criminals. There have been some very interesting studies recently about fiction and empathy. And they show that people are generally more empathetic if they read fiction. Because novels allow you to step into someone else's experience, you're really, you're really living it. In a well-written novel, you are absolutely in there. And that allows us to see different uh, points of view. And they've done these studies specifically with a gay character and seen how people react. And if they're already invested in the story, if they're halfway through and it's revealed that the character is gay, then even rampant homophobes are actually okay with it. If the character is identified as gay in the beginning, the homophobes are like, oh no, I'm out. But it's, you've already bought into the character by that stage and being able to see things through their eyes. And then the studies are done afterwards show that people's opinions change a little bit. And that's remarkable, is that you're actually changing minds. It's amazing.